So today I'm talking about a Ford with a P1448 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1448 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system purge vapor line restricted blocked. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this and it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes. Well, the most common cause is going to be something going on with the purge valve or in the wiring and possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor. And some other things that might cause this but are less common is going to be things like the vent valve, charcoal canister, and possibly an EVAP leak. And so when you get this code, the onboard computer is seeing something's going on with the purge valve. And the basics of what's going on in the EVAP system is you're going to have a hose that's going to leave the gas tank. It's going to go up to a charcoal canister, which stores the vapors. It also has a vapor vent valve solenoid on it that the onboard computer uses to test the system. And then a hose is going to go up to the top of the engine, and you're going to have a vapor purge valve solenoid up here at the top. And what this vapor purge valve does is it opens when the engine's running, so all the gas vapors go into the engine to get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running, so they don't escape. And there's also a fuel tank pressure sensor somewhere on the system that reports back to the onboard computer what's going on and so the onboard computer is seeing a problem up here with this purge valve and so it's going to be the first thing to go and check out the exact location of it is going to be different depending on the ford and the year and things like this it'll be located up inside the engine compartment somewhere for example here's a 2013 ford focus and it'd be on the right side of the engine it'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness here's another example of a 2017 ford explorer and it's located farther towards the back up towards the firewall again it'll have two ports on it and it'll have a wiring harness but the first First thing to go and do is to locate the purge valve on your particular Ford and then either test it or replace it. You can test it if you want to. I made some videos on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. Also be sure that wiring looks good and basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad purge valve. And so be sure to check out that wiring and be sure that it looks good. And one thing to keep in mind with these Fords is that sometimes those purge valves can be connected to multiple hoses going into the intake. Sometimes there's just one. It's really going to vary. Sometimes they have multiple hoses going in and they connect it to it. And so be sure to check out all the connections. Be sure there's nothing going on with those because if they're leaking or if they're broken or anything like this, then it could cause issues. So keep an eye out for that. And so if you've gone through and you checked out that purge valve and that tests good, the wiring all tests good and there's no issues there and all the hoses look good, then the next thing that can cause this problem is going to be like the fuel tank pressure sensor or possibly a leak going on inside of the system somewhere if you took it to a mechanic what they would do is they feed smoke into the evap system and then wherever the smoke come out they know if there's anything leaking or anything like that it's a pretty good way to check to see if there's any evap leaks going on inside of the whole system because leaks can cause issues if there's anything going on so that's something to keep in mind another thing that could cause this problem is the fuel tank pressure sensor since that the fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad there might not be a problem inside the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since it's giving them bad data and so that's something to keep in mind these can be located differently sometimes they're located on top of the gas tank sometimes they're located on the fuel pump and sometimes they're located right on the line that's going into the fuel pump but if you go through and you test that purge valve and it's good and you test the wiring and that's good then definitely keep in mind that a bad fuel tank pressure sensor can cause this problem and then the last thing on the list is going to be the charcoal canister and the vent valve but usually when those go bad they're going to give you other error codes so if you are getting other error codes be sure to pay attention to that but there could also be some kind of issue that's going on with the vent valve or the charcoal canister that's causing some kind of effect going on inside of the system so it is a part of the evap system and if you go through and you check everything else out then it's possible that something's going on with the charcoal canister which also usually contains the vent valve and so the next thing to do is to go check that out and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1448 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.